spoken against you, O children of Israel. So God spoke a word against these people right here. Look at this sign. These are the children of Israel. That's right. All right. God spoke a word against us. Not for us, but against us. Why? Hold it. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. He's speaking a word against us because we did something against him. What's your name, brother? Cassius. Cassius? All right. Pay attention, brother Cassius, all right? And if you got a question, we're going to bring it forth, all right? all right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, brother Cassius, right? He, Mo, this mold is speaking to the children of Israel. Right. Not everybody, but these people on the sign. That's right. He said, it's going to come to pass. I mean, it's going to happen. Future tense, okay. right? Read. If, you, if thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we didn't listen, Brother Cassius, right. to the laws that God gave us, right. things are going to happen. Read. Unto the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So how do you observe something, Brother Cassius? Break it down, break down the situation, look around it, avoid it, put it on the side of your side. That's all right, G. Okay, okay. G get a little simpler with it. Um, I, 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 I do all four research. Okay, you mean, all it means to do is to do it. That's it, do it. That's what's wrong with our people. We don't do what our God showed us to do. You got all these Christian churches on every block and they teaching our people lies. That's that hollering what we just read about. But then the people, they're doing whatever they want to do. This is why we're in the condition we're in. That's why we're reading this. Ooh. Which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So a curse is what? Is it good or bad? Bad. So God, through Moses, told the children of Israel, if you do not keep the commandments, curses will come upon you. Things going to happen to you and your children that's going to remind you why you shouldn't have did what you did. Why you should have disobeyed me. Go back. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. So now we're going to prove who did God do this to? We read it, but he only did it to one people. He didn't put these curses upon no other nation but the children of Israel. Right. Read. Hear these words the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying... So you remember that story, right? You remember that history on Moses bringing us up out of the, the land of Egypt, right? Under Pharaoh, right? Slavery, 400 years, right? We back in that spiritual Egypt right now, brother. That's right. All praises, all praises. We back in the spiritual Egypt because right now, we, are we still in servitude right now? Are we still in servitude or uh, slavery right now? Are we still captive? We are. How? Give me some examples. Okay, okay, we're going to just think of something. I'm going to come back to you. Continue reading. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So, the Most High God is telling us that you only, the black, Hispanic, and Native American, you're the only people and nation that I know upon the face of the earth. So, therefore, because you broke my commandments, Go to Psalms 147, uh, no, 19 and 20. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you, Brother Cassius. Why only us? Why? We're going to get the answer. We're going to let the book speak. The Bible is going to speak. Because he punished us for a reason. Right, and how, again, well, that's good, because that's right. We want to acknowledge him. How do you acknowledge him as being our father? There you go. If your father tells you to do something, you go, yes, sir, father. Yes, sir, dad. You go do what he tells you to do, right? Because you love and obey your father. We haven't did that. That's why we're in this lower state. 
And we're going to get into some of the curses to show you, Brother Cassius, that we can identify who these people are. Who these people are today. The plagues, what you mean the plague? Oh, yeah, that's what happened in Egypt. But it's plagued upon us today, though. Right, right. It's plagued upon us still today, though. Because that's the part of the curses. Right, yeah. All right? It's not the flaws and stuff right now, but it's other plagues that we suffer from from today. Uh, today. Right. Syphilis, gonorrhea, right. AIDS. Right. Yeah. Those are plagues. That's, right. that's destroying us at a higher alarming rate right. than any other nation. Right? right? right. We. Yes, the book of Psalms, right. 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not done so with any nation. So we, we're going to read that one more time for you slow. How you doing, young brother? Come back and get some understanding, all right? So listen, he going to read it for you slow. So you can understand why we suffering the punishment, all right? Read. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his words unto Jacob. Jacob represents who? The 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he wrestled with an angel, right? Israel, Jacob, represents the fourth, our forefather, our father of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? All right. So let's read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed the words, the commandments to Jacob. The law, statutes, and commandments. And I'm going to go through some with you today so you can understand the laws that you break it. But you might not know because you're in ignorance of these things. Right? right? Because right. our leaders have taught us to err, brothers and sisters. Right. Your leaders, your pastors have taught you you can sin and God loves you anyway. No, God hates sinners. Yes. That's what you don't understand. Can we? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he showed unto Jacob his statutes and judgments. Okay. What to do, what not to do. And his judgments, we suffer the judgments right now. Right. He have not dealt so. He what? He have not dealt so. That means he's not dealing with no other people. Right. No other nation of people is God dealing with. All right? With any nation. With any nation. So that's plain and simple, right? So let's go back. That's it? Huh? The 20? We're the 20? Yeah. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Because right now, sister, we're talking to you to come out of the Christianity of this world and turn back to the true heritage that God gave you. All right? They have not known this. The judgments. The judgments are upon us because we broke his commandments. Let's get into some of the judgments. How we know that we are the children of Israel of this Bible. Chapter 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it means future tense. These things are going to happen. They didn't happen at that time when Moses spoke it. But they happened here. Right. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You hearken him by do what? Listen and do. Right? To observe. To do all his commandments. Do all, not some, but what? Oh. All his commandments. So we can't be partial in the law. That's right. Like Malachi talks about with the Levites. We can't be partial. Right. We can't keep a beard and then not wear fringes. Right. We can't out. keep the new moon or uh, whatever day we want to keep it and then not keep the Sabbath. Right. Okay? Right. We have to keep all his commandments. That's those right. that are in effect right now. All right? We. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. So let's go with the laws that set up and some statutes that set up with them. All right? On how to keep the Sabbath day holy. Again, we're going to touch on all these things. All right? Wait. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. These curses are going to come upon us, brother, and overtake us. Why? Because we sinned against God. All right? How do we get to this side of the earth? How do we get to this side of the earth, brother? It's history. We know this history. How do we get this side of the earth, brother Cash? You don't know? Okay, okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how we got to this side of the earth. 68. 
68. Verse 68. Verse 68. Verse 68. See, right, that, right now today, we're going to make it plain for you. We're going to make it plain for you to see what this Bible is speaking of is a true book and how we know we're the children of Israel. All right, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So remember I said this is spiritual Egypt, right? For the cashes? Yeah, I remember you telling me. We're going to show you what Egypt means. Yes, sir. We're going to show you what Egypt means according to the Bible. Bring it out, bring it Because... This right here is going to show you. We're showing you right here. We came from here. Africa, right? Okay. But are we African? I don't know. Okay, I'll wow. pray. I'll pray. We not. Okay. We ain't. Right. They had us in slavery too. We United. Nice. Cash. We ain't American either. Okay. We just came here. We were brought here forcibly. Right? right? right. Under captivity. Right. Slavery, right? Okay. On a ship. That's it. All right, read. Right, Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out the land of Egypt, out the house of bondage. So God brought us out under Moses, where? Out of the house of bondage. Right. Egypt is synonymous with what? Bondage. Right. Slavery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's what it's speaking of. Let's go back. And the Lord said, and the Lord shall bring so, you into Egypt again with ships. So that means we're going into Egypt a second time. Did we go back into Egypt a second time with ships? We didn't. We didn't. We didn't go back into Egypt a second time with ships. All right? That's what it's talking about right now, the spiritual Egypt. You got that? Thank you. Revelation. Because right now, well, he going to Revelation, oh, oh, okay. all right? And we're going to show you the spiritual Egypt because we're back in bondage, slavery again, right. well, the second I time. Every day. Believe me, though. You understand, uh -huh. Brother Cassius, the second time, right? right? Pay attention. The book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 8. Oh, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So the Bible says, read it from the top one more time. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. So that great city is speaking of, Brother yes, Cassius, yes, is America. <laughs> Babylon the Great. Yes, Understand? Yes, sir. And it says their dead bodies. So are we really dead? Everybody dead out here? Right. No. no. It's speaking metaphorically, spiritually dead. Right. right. So Egypt is referring to that yeah. second, yeah, spiritual, yeah. but that second time. Right. We're coming over here. And you and you pointed it out right here with the sheep, right. the, uh, the ship. All right. So, and the, the Sodom is what? What is the Sodom going into? Spiritually? Uh, no. It's all right. Just just throw it out there if you know it. If you don't. Okay. Sodom is referring to what? Sodom and Gomorrah. I was about to say that. I don't even know. You know how Lot and his his uh his daughters were delivered from that? You remember that story? Not exactly. Okay. Well. Lot and his daughters were delivered from Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. There was a whole bunch of homosexuality going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, brother. Right. That's what's going on in America. That's why it's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. That's right. Because we're here in slavery and captivity again. And then what? Sodomites are going run, running rapid here in America. Right. Men can marry men. Women can marry women. Right? right. Continue. Right. Right. Which is spiritually called Sodom and in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And in addition to this being spiritual Sodom and Egypt, in addition to that, read that last part. Where also our Lord was crucified. So was Christ crucified here in America? No. How was he crucified in America? He wasn't, but I'm saying how? Was he? No. Through our oppressor. You see this image right here? Is this Christ right here? Is that Christ? No. Is that Christ? No, sir. It's the image. Okay, I'll pray. That's how our Lord was crucified. That's right. Here in America. Because that came from America. Right. This is throughout the four corners of the earth.
that Cesar Borgia is Christ. But he's not. He's an imposter. That's right. Okay? Yeah. And yeah. he's idolatry. Our people worship that when they go to church. Yeah. But you see that picture on the side of him, right? Yeah, that's, what I'm that's the true image. That's, that's a, a, a nice depiction of how Christ would look Free according to what said the Lord. Thank you, you understand? Right. So that's right. how our Lord was crucified in America. That's right. Throughout the earth. All right? So drop that. Go back. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Again with ships So now you understand Egypt means bondage Again with ships No, no, no You talking about Christopher Columbus? No, 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 he, he didn't discover nothing But yeah they well, they, what I'm yeah, they use they that. that in there. They, they, they have to. Back on the ship. Because you understand, they have to make their legacy great. Right. I'm just, I'm just okay, they have to make, and I'm going to get that in, in Psalms 83. They have to make make it like you never existed. Make it like you were never a people. Right. You understand? And they took and stole everything from us. Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. He going to finish this. Read. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. So Moses is letting us know that we will not see something again. Just the way he said it, that's the way it happened. All right. Read it, continue. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. When will we not see again anymore? Uh, yeah. It's talking about our homeland, yeah. Brother Cassidy. Our homeland. Israel. That's right. Israel. It say Arabia because the the uh, uh, the, the Ishmael and uh, the uh, Amal Amalek has stolen our land. All right. They're in our land today. All right. Our land is defiled right now. All right. That's our land. He gonna prove it to you in the Bible, though, brother. Cash is read. The Book of Galatians, chapter four, verse twenty-six. But Jerusalem, as you were. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is above all lands because the Most High chose that and gave it to us. That's the land where he bound to have his name. Jerusalem. That's our Israel. That's our land. You understand? That's the homeland. That's the motherland. Not Africa. They want to put us back in Africa. But we're going to show you today that Africans had, just, had us in slavery. Look, bring it up. Right? Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above his feet, which is the mother of us all. That's the motherland. Look. Sister, that's the motherland. Not Africa. Not Africa. Africa, they had you in slavery. They had us in slave. They sold us. It's yeah. late. Okay? Me, so now, go back. Me, By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we will not see our homeland anymore again. You can get on a plane and go to Israel, but it's not your homeland. Right. It's not in the state that it was when we were ruling the earth. Right. You understand? Yes, it's abominable right uh, now. Yeah, Tel Aviv, they're having the biggest homosexual gay parade you can think right, of. Yeah. That's, that's an abomination to God, brother. But that's what's happening in our land. Right? Read. And, and thou shalt, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we got off the slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. Did that happen in history? You, you, you know about that? What? That happened. That's right here on this side. Down this to the Select though, don't forget, right? Hold on. Never this to me to the too late. Oh, here we go. Here you go right here. It was sold on auction blocks. Right. Wall Street. It was the first um a commodity on Wall Street. You understand? That's what happened to us, the black Hispanics in Native America. We were sold. Okay? They came over here and took our, our Native American brothers, so-called Native Americans, to Spain, to all the other isles of the sea on the east, and sold them as slaves. You understand? It just didn't happen to us, brother. All right? 
and they pitched them and branded them so they can know who's there. There you go. Just like on your, your plantation, your, your slave master, you would get his last name. Right, that's why, what's your last name? Mitchell. Mitchell. Yes, sir. Your plantation owner was Mr. Mitchell. Right. Master Mitchell. Yeah. You understand that? Yes, sir. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Friends don't sell friends to each other, do they? Yes, sir. You are sold to your enemies. That's right. Or people that hate you. Or people that hate you. Why? Because God chose you. Versus everybody else. That's versus right. every other nation. You understand that? That's the hatred that they have because God chose you. Of course. Yes. For bond man and bond woman. Bond man and bond woman. Men and women were sold on auction blocks. Men and women were, uh, uh, were given into butt breaking. Were given into a butt breaking. Were given into uh, witches. Okay? Giving it to slavery for uh, sex slaves. These things happen to one particular people and one people only. Hmm. That's why you, 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 you hate us because we tell you the truth, but you hate us because we tell you the truth. This is our history correlated with facts of the Bible. That's right. All right, keep going. And no man shall buy you. No man shall save you. What is that speaking of? No man shall save you. By you, meaning save you. It's an old Quaker word, meaning what? Redeem you. No man is going to redeem you out of this captive state. Did you say Quaker? Quaker. Right, old Quaker term. Right, stuff, means save, okay? Means redeem you. Save you. Who tried to save us out of this captivity? Marcus God. Malcolm X. Martin Luther King. So join the truth. All these leaders that tried to save us, did they, did they prosper? Did, did it, did it, were they able to pull us out of where we're at today? No. We're still in the same conditions. We're still getting shot down in the street. We're still marching and protesting. And what has happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. But go to Lamentation 4 and 17. And then we're going to go back to do the running because I still want to make it clear to you who we are in this book. So that happened in history, right? Okay. It happened to only one people, uh, Israel. That's right. It's called the transatlantic slave trade. 1619, the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. Yes, sir. And also correlates with our brothers going over here when Columbus came in 1492 and conquered and took our people back to Spain and all the other countries. Okay. Same thing, okay. right? Okay. Read. The Book of Limitations, chapter 4, verse 17. This is one thing that's wrong with our people. We understand the reading the scriptures who our enemy are. But we yet, but we yet to fail or yet to realize that they're our enemies. Yet to realize that they're not going to help us. We seek their help. We seek equality. We seek reparations. We seek to be like our, our oppressor. Yeah. But have we received that equality? No. Yeah. It's never going to happen. Never. As long as these nations, main one, our main enemy being Esau, the so-called white man, yeah. it will never happen. That's right. Until Christ come back and reverse them roles. Yeah. You understand, brother? Uh, yes, sir. As for us, our eyes have yet failed. For our vain help. It says, as for us, the black Hispanics and Native Americans. Our brothers are fighting today in so-called uh, reservations so they will build a pipeline. You know what I'm And we going to who for that help? Our oppressor. Our oppressor is showing us vain help. Okay? Back in the day with Martin Luther King, we were marched. Why? For equality. To be counted as equal. Vain help. No, we, we fought for equality. To be treated as equal. We sat and boycotted at, at restaurants. To be equal. To go and sit with the other nations. With the, the, the so-called white man. Esau. You understand? To be counted as equal. For vain. For vanity. Because we still looked at as what? Three-fifths of a human being, brother. For the Cassius. They look at us as nothing. They love their dog more than they love you, brother. That's right. You understand? Continue. 
As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And in our watching, watching for who? Watching for all the other nations to help us. Watching for the people that had us in slavery to make wrong, to make right the wrong. You understand? That's who we're looking for. We're looking for them to say, please forgive us. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.